I'm Double, and this combat mission after action report is for the third battle in the Kampf Group Piper campaign. We are following the group's journey west over three days during the Ardennes counteroffensive. It is still day one, 17th of December, and in the last scenario, I made the operational decision to continue to push west, sacrificing resupply for speed of advance. We are now just outside Stavelot. Our orders are to seize control of the town and the bridge over the river. We are also faced with a second operational decision. We can take control of the northern square, which will allow us to move north to secure a fuel dump, allowing resupply. Or we can ignore the square, secure only the bridge and the exit and continue west. If we continue west, we must keep the supply routes clear or risk being cut off. The area of operation is large. We are looking south with the spits approaching from the east. The terrain slopes towards the river with a single road leading to the eastern edge of Stavelot. It's stopped raining but the ground is muddy, meaning it's not good for vehicle movement. It's 1700 hours, sunset was around 20 minutes ago. Visibility is approximately 250 metres with muzzle flashes visible up to 1,000 metres. I have 90 minutes to secure my mission objectives. My order of battle is on the screen. My infantry is mechanised and includes 1st platoon from the previous battle, 2nd platoon, 4 HMG platoon, 3 section of 81mm mortars and 2 pioneer section command teams. I have not been able to resupply or received any reinforcements. I also have four Panzer IVs and two Stummels. Because of my quick advance, I do not expect to encounter any defence before the town. I intend to put my group into a column and move swiftly to the terrain I've identified as my overwatch location called point one. I shall position my mortars at point two. They are beyond the 250 meter direct line of sight but I expect to be able to get spots on muzzle fire, etc. from point two. Looking at an illuminated map of the town and its surrounding area, I've identified locations one and two. With only one bridge to cross the river and limited infantry, I shall focus my attack on the bridge. I'll then push through, securing the passage, the junction and then the exit. If I have time and resource, I will try and secure the square, but I'm going to be cautious. I'm short on infantry and urban fighting is the armour's weakest situation. I'm going to keep my route and manoeuvre as tight to objectives as possible. I don't want to waste resources fighting where I don't need to. I may need to reposition my overwatch at point one. I hope it will cover a large enough area of the town and northern hillside, but there may be areas not covered. Until all my forces are in position, it's difficult to be sure on lines of sight. My key locations may need to change, depending on the Americans' defence. Urban fighting is slow and can be costly. I shall try and leverage the firepower of the tanks as much as possible whilst limiting their exposure to AT weapons, but it's not going to be easy. The column advances quickly towards point one. As the lead half-tracks arrive, the pioneers disembark. Mm -hmm. 
American picket forces engage. Whilst my forces are few, they're well equipped with automatic weapons, some of which have been scavenged from buddy aid in previous scenarios. Rifle grenades are very capable of destroying half tracks. And soldiers with these kinds of weapons, including bazookas, are prioritised. We spot long-range defensive fire. The Panzer IVs engage the HFG, whilst the Pioneers and the Half-Track continue their attack. The overwatch position is providing a good line of sight. The rest of the group is moving up down the main road. With the picket force dealt with, we've come across little further resistance. I lose a stumble to a minefield. Sit rep, the road to the town is mined. My pioneers failed to identify the mines despite checking the area. I have two Panzer IVs on overwatch at point one. The two Pioneer Command sections have taken the lead together with Half Tracks and Panzer I. We've neutralised the initial picket defence easily and are now probing the bridge approach. The rest of the Spitz is following, however there has been some traffic issues at the rear of the column. Second platoon are arriving at point one, they will dismount and then move up to support the Pioneers. The mortar section is at the rear of the column so it's going to take a while for them to get through the traffic and arrive at point two. The half-tracks and the infantry leapfrog forward, with the half-tracks taking the lead. I lose a scout half track. The Panzer fours on Overwatch come under fire from what looks like a flak gun, but no one can get eyes on.
they're not penetrating shots, but they're damaging optics, radios, etc. The Panzers lay down area fire. Suddenly spotting something else. Meanwhile, at the approach to the bridge. sound contacts and then suddenly visual on trucks. I'm struggling to suppress and drive out the GIs defending the bridge. suddenly spot more trucks. And the group rips them apart. The mortar section finally moves to point two. I've had an AT gun contact on the hills to the north. So overwatch at point one and two are putting down area fire. The Spitz is fully engaged with the defenders at Stavelot. It looks like we arrived just as a motorised infantry company was either arriving to reinforce or passing through. We've destroyed several vehicles and caused heavy casualties, whilst minimising our own. Overwatch at point 1 and 2 has good line of sight and can engage across the town and the surrounding area. The bridge is well defended and I don't think the infantry can take it alone. I'm going to have to get my armour in to provide close support. I'm going to try and flank the defenders of the bridge, but my plan doesn't change. Focus on the mission objectives and minimise any creep to other areas of the town. I have plenty of time, so the priority is to minimise risk to the infantry. Defenders at the townhouse next to the bridge are well dug in and well armed. I lead my flank attack with a half track.
and to put HE into the townhouse. Panzer II is also engaged in the battle for the bridge. I must clear out the townhouse before I can advance. My flanking manoeuvre comes across further defenders. First platoon engage. The townhouse looks clear, but there are further defenders on the western banks of the river. I'm trying to keep my armour at a hundred metres or more away from the defenders, but it's not easy in these confined spaces. Harassing fire upon the panzers at Overwatch Point One. Enemy tank sighted. Not really a match. Update at 17:30 hours. We have still not secured the bridge. However, we appear to have fire superiority, with only small, sporadic groups of fire coming in. I shall move forward to secure the eastern edge of the bridge and then push infantry over with Panzer close support. We continue to be cautious and measured in our approach. There are GIs hidden in the buildings and I can't afford to lose any infantry support. The visibility seems to be okay both in the town and at range. My overwatch is working well dealing with contacts on the outskirts and inside the town. I hope I can continue moving forward with minimal casualties. mines and second platoon loser section. A second half track rolls into the mines and is destroyed, effectively blocking that route to the bridge. With reduced fire, the sections start to apply buddy aid, recovering ammunition and weapons. I'm going to close the video here. There's still a lot of the battle left, and I'll follow up with the rest of the AR as quickly as possible.